Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Monday, May 3rd, 2021. Well, we have an unsettled weather pattern starting to lock in throughout the region with a stationary front basically hanging right around the New York City metro back through central Pennsylvania. To the north of the stationary front, temperatures are stuck in the lower to mid 50s. To the south of it, well, temperatures are in the upper 50s to mid 60s throughout the region. With showers approaching from the southwest, it's going to be an unsettled day with threat for showers, variable cloud cover, and temperatures ranging quite a bit from the lower to mid 60s to the upper 60s to mid 70s. So definitely going to be a crazy day. When you take a look at the latest wind map at the surface, you can see all these boundaries just hanging around the region here. You got some boundaries here cutting through central New York, hanging around New England. You got another one right around Long Island, back through central New Jersey into uh, central Pennsylvania. You have another one around the Delmarva Peninsula, cutting back through uh, West Virginia and into the Ohio River Valley. And then you have a stronger low pressure system back here over the upper Midwest that is drawing warm air northward, but then running into a clash with colder air trying to press south. So lots of frontal boundary there's lots of air masses clashing and a headache for your meteorologist because it means temperatures are going to be rather variable and swinging wildly from hour to hour if not day to day throughout the region so here we have our surface map you can see our stationary fronts just hanging around here and we have another low pressure system back here towards the Tennessee River Valley, all of this will be lifting to the northeast over the next 66 hours. And that's going to lead to the threat for showers and also possibly some strong to severe thunderstorms by the time we get to Wednesday. So certainly a very active pattern is in place. On the radar, you can see that rainfall approaching from the southwest. Some of this is not reaching the ground, but it is reaching the ground down towards Dover with some moderate rainfall and the same thing around Washington, D.C. and off towards Virginia. So we can expect showers for today, so definitely have your umbrella handy. On the visible satellite picture, you can see as the sun is rising, plenty of cloud cover. It's going to be one of those days where you get maybe a little peak of sun, but don't be fooled because... After that sun goes away, then you're going to be dealing with more showers. So it's definitely going to be one of those days. And on the infrared satellite picture, you can see, well, we got a train on the way here. A train of low pressure systems. And they will be marching their way through over the next 66 hours. We get a little bit of a break on Thursday. And then we get right back into an active weather pattern with a threat for showers pretty much every day. So here is our surface map for today. Watch out for showers developing, especially for this afternoon and this evening. Temperatures will rise into the lower to mid 60s over the interior and New York City metro. And for the Philadelphia metro and southern New Jersey, upper 60s to lower 70s. Again, constant threat for showers. For tonight into tomorrow morning, watch out for more widespread showers. Tapering off towards the morning hours with some low clouds and fog. Low temperatures ranging from the upper 40s to mid 50s. For tomorrow afternoon, look for that threat for showers returning. Although not as widespread, look for high temperatures ranging from the mid 60s to lower 70s over the interior in New York City metro. Mid to upper 70s, possibly even a few lower 80s if we get enough sunshine for the Philadelphia metro and southern New Jersey. Then on Wednesday... All of this starts to get cleared out with a stronger cold front. Now in the morning, watch out for some locally dense fog and some showers. Low temperatures will range from the lower to mid 50s, possibly a few lower 60s down towards, let's say, extreme southern New Jersey. If there is fog and low clouds, that limits your potential for strong and severe thunderstorms. How if we get a little bit of clearing in the afternoon, well, things could get a bit active in the evening with some of these thunderstorms capable of producing frequent lightning and hail. High temperatures will range on Wednesday from the mid-60s to lower 70s over the interior and New York City metro. Again, a lot of this has to depend on the position of the frontal boundaries and how much of those low clouds hang around. To the south of the frontal boundary and where we see more sunshine, well, those temperatures are going to be spiking into the mid-70s to lower 80s. So that's where you get your severe potential showing up with these thunderstorms. So a very chaotic active weather pattern where a shift in a warm front by a couple of miles will mean the difference between you being stuck at 64 or pushing pretty close to 80. For Thursday, much easier forecast. High pressures in control, clear skies, 
everyone's pretty much tranquil on Thursday, with temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 40s over the interior, upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast. High temperatures will range from the mid 50s to lower 60s over the interior, lower to mid 60s along the coast. Then we get right back into our active weather pattern on Friday with another cold front stalling out over the region with a wave of low pressure producing scattered showers. Again, not a washout, but a bit of a pass. Look for low temperatures in the upper 30s to mid 40s. High temperatures will range from the lower to mid 50s over the interior, upper 50s to mid 60s along the coast. Then on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, that constant theme returns with variable cloud cover, frontal boundary hanging around the region, a threat for scattered showers, Low temperatures will range generally from the mid 30s to lower 40s to the north of the frontal boundary, upper 30s to mid 40s to the south of the frontal boundary. High temperatures will range from the mid to upper 50s, or should I say lower to mid 50s to the north of the frontal boundary, and upper 50s to mid 60s to the south of the frontal boundary. I'm saying frontal boundary because each day that frontal boundary will shift north and south. Some days it might drop south of Philadelphia. Other days it might push north of New York City. A lot of that depends on these little waves of low pressure that will be riding along the frontal boundary and where those low pressure systems line up. And when they move through, let's say if they move through in the afternoon, that could lead to warmer conditions in the afternoon, thus warmer high temperatures. Whereas opposed to they move through at night could lead to cooler high temperatures because you have that cooler air building in. So a very volatile active weather pattern is in place. Essentially, what we have set up here, all your polar airs up here, all your warm tropical air, we're talking about 80s and 90s, even a few hundreds down here. And we are stuck in between, which means we get all the unsettled conditions, volatile temperatures and constant showers. That's basically the theme over the next seven days. That is your forecast discussion. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.